Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I wanted to share with you guys real quick. I went into Dollar Tree today and also Hobby Lobby. Um, and I got a couple things at Hobby Lobby and I only found a few things at Dollar Tree this time. But I'm going to go ahead and show you what they are so I can get this stuff put away. Um, the lady, the manager of the store told me when we were checking out that... She was going to be having not one truck, but two trucks come in next week. So hopefully I'll be able to get back to Dollar Tree before everybody wipes it out. Um, but in the meantime, I'm going to show you a couple things that were new that I've seen that I haven't seen there before. And then I'll show you the small little couple things I bought at Hobby Lobby at the end here. So the first thing I found was this, um, they have a whole bunch of new um, sticky notes and this one has a hundred sheets on it um, and it says stop wishing, start doing and it's like in the shape of a banner, I thought it was super cute. They had other ones there. I tend to not use sticky notes too much but I like them um, for giveaways and um, little gifts for Happy Mail and things like that. So I went ahead and picked this one up. Um, and it's got like the nice peach springy colors on it. So I went ahead and picked that up. Then some boring stuff. I picked up, um, well, I do have two of these somewhere. I don't know where the other one went, but I picked up these, um, two of these command strip dealies. Um, and the reason why is because I'm getting ready to send out my altered paintbrushes and I'm going to send one of these in the packages with them so that they can hang them up in their craft space if they want to. Um, I thought that'd be a nice little ideal to send a little hook so that they can hang it up. And then of course I bought, I have some of these at home for myself. I had gotten some um, a little while ago. Um, so whenever I get mine in return, I can hang them up here in my craft space as well. So I did have two of these, although I only have one right here with me. Um, I must have left one in the bag, so I'll have to go back and look. Um, so I picked up two of those. And then um, I found this glue tape runner, and it's got two of them in there. And this is new to my Dollar Tree. I've not seen this. I've not seen anybody haul these. Um, so I'm wondering if they're new. There doesn't appear to be a ton on there. Looks like this packaging says right at 10 feet almost. Um, but I'm curious to know whether or not they work well or not. So I will give those a try. If anybody is interested in knowing how they work, let me know. I will write a review or show a review on it if you guys are interested. Um, but even with 10 feet and there's two in a package, I mean, that's like only 50 cents really for each one. So we're going to give it a try. So I picked up two of them because knowing me, they probably won't ever have them again and they probably work amazing is probably how that goes. It's either going to go that way or it's going to be not worth a dollar and I'm going to throw them out. So, and even on the offside to that, like these would fit perfect in a little pocket for a pocket letter or as a little treat inside Happy Mail too as well. They're really cute and compact, um, which is probably really the main reason why I picked it up because they just look so cute and adorable and they probably fit real nice in my small hand. But um, we'll give it a go. Like I said, if anybody's interested in a review on these guys before you go out and buy them, let me know. I'll do one. Um, and then I found these, y'all know I have an issue with gel ink pens, um, because of my job I write a lot, and the Pilots, which are my favorite, my husband already stole them from me, um, so I went back, they didn't have any of the Pilots in black, and, um, you know, I work in a doctor's office, we cannot use blue ink, it always has to be black, so... Um, they had the blue pilots there, but they didn't have any black ones. So I seen these, actually Ethan's seen these. And so I had never seen them at our Dollar Tree before. And it says quick dry drying. Um, it says it's the smoothest writing ink. No schmear, no schmear. 
And so I got two of them, and we will see how they go. They're the Pentel, so I'm hoping that they're pretty nice pens, but um, we'll see. We'll see how they work. And then, of course, I picked up these because I like sending these. When I see them, I usually pick them up. I like the other set with the blue butterflies on it, um, but they didn't have those. But I'm getting ready to send out a couple projects, and I wanted to send a couple of these inside the packaging as little you know, treats inside there. So I went ahead and picked up two more. My Dollar Tree doesn't really get a ton of stickers. Um, at one point in time, they had a lot of the flatback pearls and I stocked up on those. And it's a good thing I did because I have not seen them since, um, which is a little disappointing. <clears throat> but as far as stickers go, um, all of them awesome butterflies that are like dimensional, you know, the pop-up ones, the ones that are made out of paper and the flowers. I have never seen those. I keep looking for them. I want to add them to my collection so badly, um, but I never, never can find them. I just don't think they've brought them into our store yet at all. Um, then the next thing I found were these little... Um, containers with uh, the flip up lids to them and um, I always have like random I think I'm going to as soon as I can find the clear acrylic um, container that they have at the Dollar Tree I think I'm going to do a DIY with these um, like as a little storage system um, as soon as I can get a hold of them. But in the meantime, I'm just going to use them to store my bits and pieces, whether it's paper clips or paper clips people have altered for me or buttons or whatever the case may be that I decide that goes in here. Because I have a lot of do just um, bits and bobs is what I like to call them. So I picked them up in the pink and I picked them up in the green because whenever we do end up either... <clears throat> building a house next summer or buying a house we haven't completely decided which one we're going to do we have our eye on a piece of property but we'll see um, the trouble with me building a house is that I can't find a piece of property property here that I like well enough to say hey I'm gonna live here forever um, there's always some sort of issue with the land itself um, so I have, we have been looking for almost two years now. There's just not a lot of property choices around here. But anyway, whenever I say that, what I'm saying is, is that whenever we f do finally either end up purchasing a, a new house or building one next summer, um, I will have my own craft room and my craft room will be in pink and green. So, and maybe some splashes of gray. So anything that I buy, I'm trying to go ahead and prepare myself for um, the future of when I have my own craft space and how I would like for it to be designed. So anyway, I thought these were a really great deal, three for a dollar. You know, they're plastic and they're a pretty good size. They're not, let's see if it tells me. Um, it doesn't. It doesn't tell me like how many, how much it would hold. Um, it does tell me that it's not for liquid, though, so don't put any liquid in these things, guys. Um, but it doesn't tell me exactly, like, the ounces that that will hold or anything. But they're pretty good size. Like, one of them's probably, you know, pretty close to the size of my hand. Um, and like I said, I think I'm going to do a, a DIY with these. And this one, these say bonus, so I don't know if maybe they've had these before and there was only two in there. Um, but these have three and I thought that was a really good deal and I plan on using those. And then I also found these little ones with the lock top lids. Um, and I thought that these would be perfect for my little bits of like different extra die cuts and things that I cut out that I'm not using at that current time. Um, I do, I do keep a embellishment kit 
actually what it is is Shaniqua over at La Las Creations 12 had entered in my Valentine's Day challenge and instead of making me a handmade card, she altered me a box that has dividers in it um, that she had put different pieces for handmade cards so that I can make my own. And I have used all the cards out of that box. So because it's got all the little dividers in it, I keep every time somebody sends me like a little bit and a piece from a Happy Mail, if it's current, like anything that's coming in that's spring related, I'm throwing in that box because then I can just go to the box and just pull out of the box and make spring embellishments. But if it's something that's not... um spring related I'm going to start throwing them in these little containers and having you know them I'm going to label them so that I can go to and find what I need what I'm looking for at that time so I picked up that one and then I'm out of duct tape and they didn't have any cutesy duct tape like they usually do um, and I needed a roll so I just picked up this one with the um, push pins and the uh, paper clips and binder clips on it. I mean, it's nothing fancy, but it'll do the job as far as sealing my packages as I send them out. And like I said, they just didn't have any other ones, so I had to have something. And I didn't want to get like regular gray um, colored duct tape, you know. So that does it for the Dollar Tree stuff. Like I said, not really a lot. Um, so while I was up there, because um, the Dollar Tree is about 30 minutes from my house, so while I was up there, there's also a Hobby Lobby there, and I went ahead and stopped in to Hobby Lobby and just found a couple things. I know that all their um, paper studios and stickability stuff was on, or not stickability, stampability stuff was on sale 50% off. Um, I did end up finding this ampersand which I love the ampersands. I don't know why I have a thing for them, but I picked this one up and cost me $2, but I thought it was super cute. And then I, and that was on clearance. That has nothing to do with the sale. And then this pack of On Trend 2 by Jen Allison. This is my mind's eye, a 49 count mixed bag of different ephemera pieces. And everybody knows that I got a serious problem with ephemera. Um, and I just really thought that they were super, super cute. That's what you get in the back of it. Um, I'm, I wasn't too hip on paying the price $3.59 for it, but, um, I couldn't pass it up, so I went ahead and picked it up. I just love the little cutesies inside here with the cactuses and the flamingos. I just think they're super adorable and so I had to have it in these little doily pieces that they got going on. Yes please. Um, so I went ahead and purchased it. So there's that. And then I did get these two clear stamps from Stampabilities. I got this one that says but first, coffee, the little coffee cup, a spoon, coffee over everything, the little coffee beans, this little cutie McCute right there, and then thanks a latte. Um, and then the mason jar here with the banner just because everybody knows I love mason jars and I just couldn't leave it there. I just could not leave it there. Um, so they were originally three bucks and I got them both for a dollar fifty. So I didn't think that was too bad. Um, and, uh, yeah, so I bought both of those. I'm interested to see what I can do with this here mason jar as far as projects go, but y'all know me. I'll probably come up with something pretty clever. So that is it for my Hobby Lobby haul um, and my Dollar Tree haul. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and... As always, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!